Hi guys, today we're going to talk about five really easy and beautiful ways to decorate your planners. So these are not new concepts, but hopefully some of the ways I'm using them might be new. So the first thing we're going to talk about is stickers. There are lots of ways you can use stickers in a planner. Obviously you can get sticker kits and that is one of my favorite ways to use stickers. You can get the Hobonichi Weeks sticker kits, you can get um, them for the Erin Condren. But I, uh, if I can't get the sticker kits every week, I really like to just um, get the icon stickers from my favorite shops and then I can still use those in my weekly planning. It's a really nice way to add a touch of um, pretty to have to cut down on, you know, space because your icon stick is sort of saying what you've done and um, you can support the shops that you enjoy, you know, their stickers as well. And I've just done a video about how I made that little sticker kit. Uh, and this I'm actually, this is a Chic Sparrow uh, Waypoint and then I'm using these stickers in the Midori MD. And so one of the ways you can use the stickers as well is in your monthly. So I've seen these done a lot and these are really pretty when the, when you know you have a year full of the stickers for a day. Sticker, uh, you know, a sticker for each day. So for example, on this page, I really wanted to journal a little bit about Australia at the minute. And um, I just could use the sticker icons and then that left me room to kind of do, I sort of wrote across the two pages there and did a little bit of a journal entry, but I love having the, the little bit of foil and just the pretty stickers to be able to just sort of sprinkle around the pages. So number two is washi and these are my favorite washies. So especially at the minute, I'm really loving the skinny washies. So these are from Michaels. I think washi can say a lot, like when you can decorate with washi, but you can also say a lot about your personal style from the color, from, um, so that like, I like a lot of the gold ones. I love the ampersand one. Um, ones with the writing and so it can also say a lot about like who you are what you like and things like that it can even show different like moods that you're in and things like that so I, I really find washi an interesting one not just um, to decorate but also to to use it as part of um, the correspondence in your journal if that makes sense and the other way I like to use it is just blocking out days in the monthly as well. So the skinny one's really good for that. And also using it to separate tasks on a page. So one of my favorite ways to use it is to put dried flowers in. So that brings us to number three, which is adding dried flowers to your planner. And I think that this can really add a lot of... Um, sentiment as well and something sort of special about um, the time of year it might be your garden if you went on walks if you were gifted flowers um, like this is the petals from the last rose that we had here at winter and it was actually still blooming when we got the first snow so and then here are a few other ones that I collected from um, the last year and a lot of these will be really pretty on the pages too, so I haven't kind of figured out where I want to put these. I might want to use these in my actual junk journal. Uh, but these would be really nice, you know, in your planners and to decorate as well. And if you wanted to do a lot of these, I actually saw a video the other day. You can get something off Amazon which um, you can dry flowers in the microwave. So basically you just put them into this sort of in-between um, some felt and you know some things and then put it in the microwave for a minute and it will dry the flower so that's another option if that is something you wanted to put more of into your journals or planners 
so number four is stamping and this is a really fun way this is also a way if you don't want to bulk up your planner like if you want it to stay quite streamlined but you still want to add decoration stamping is a really nice way to go it's something i'm still quite new at and i only have really i have a couple of favorites and i'll link them down below uh particular a couple of particular things that i really enjoy using um, like one is this damask stamp from Amazon and one um, this label stamp it's in from a label stamp packet as well and then the champagne gold this the champagne gold ink that they're my favorite sort of go to um, you know stamping items I also really love this Versa Magic ink. Is it Versa Magic? Yeah, the Versa Magic ink. And these are acrylic blocks from Ulta New. Uh, I I think they're just they're really pretty. <laughs> it's kind of a bit of magic in itself just using them. And so here I'm just showing you. If you kind of aren't familiar with uh, these acrylic blocks, you can get the stamps that they they clear stamps and they just go on and off. So you just use it like that. Um, the good thing is it's got the grid line there like I didn't put it on properly then but the grid line is there so you can line that all up and stamp it on your page you know really neatly this is actually one of my favorite uh, the damask pattern and it comes like in a reverse damask and the so I'm using kind of the opposite one here that I've never used just so you can see it um, before it's used it looks really nice uh, and then what I normally like to do for these is I actually you know for stamping you kind of like to apply even pressure but I actually like to apply uneven pressure so I like to you know sort of saturate the um, stamp properly but I like to apply sort of uneven pressure so it gives sort of the impression of um, sort of something old and then I also line it back up and reuse it again on top um, so that you get like the really faded look um, it didn't actually work as well here it came out pretty even which is fine as well but I think at the top one here it I sort of didn't apply as much pressure over it and then it came out a little bit uneven and that's the way I like it. You can see as well with this ink, like in some light it just looks, um, you know, dark gold sort of bronzy but uh when you get when the light hits it at the right spot it's just got a really beautiful metallic uh shimmer to it and then i've just picked a small label and one of the other things is and you'll see me do it here again is that i always put the lid on as soon as i've used the ink because the ink can dry out and you know quite often like when you're crafting or you know doing something you forget about the ink you know so I don't want that to dry out so that's the first thing I do is put the lid back on the uh, ink or you know the stamp pad and so you can see here because um, I'm doing it kind of on an angle it didn't exactly stamp very well but that's the way I like it so it adds sort of more character to the pages This is one of my favorite things as well too so this is a really old one you can get some quite pretty ones um, it's just a date stamp and I'm just showing you here if you're not familiar with these either you just change the um, days to whichever day it is and then you don't have to stamp across the whole um, date stamp so you can just stamp whichever you know sort of ink up whichever part of the stamp that you want to use For these I do like to stamp it twice so you get the first 
more crisp image and then the sort of faded image and it's kind of like the old um you know postal stamps so the last thing we're going to talk about is watercolor and i love using watercolor i am hesitant to use watercolor in the traditional way because it crinkles the pages of the planner and i don't really want the planner you know bulking up like that so I figured out that I, I use this Wink of Stella and it, you know, it, it glides on pretty smoothly and it, you know, cause it's not very wet, so it's not going to crinkle the pages or anything, but you still get that watercolor look and it also, it like becomes a shimmer color. And this has been actually one of my favorite things I've been playing around with this week. So you can see on this page, I've just kind of swatched out the colors and I'm actually just using this old palette that I had, which I've never actually used. And I and I think mostly it's student grade paints. So I wouldn't use this on my like regular artist grade palette because I'm not actually sure if the, um, you know, solution from the Wink of Stella will at some stage sort of harm the watercolors or stop making them be... Um, you know be able to be activated like become water water you know soluble so um but I'm, I'm really loving using it just in this palette or you know with more student grade paints and so I just show you you can just use it to sort of swatch or color your page but you can also use it with the stamp so I'm just going back over this peony stamp so this is an ultra new uh, from an ultra new stamp set and I am just going to use the wink of Stella with the watercolor and just sort of color it in You can see here how nicely that is like coming up together and it's not buckling the page or anything as well so and I hit like on this page I've just done some horizontal uh, some diagonal stripes and then I think the first time I used it I sort of wanted to try it out I got um, my Pell Studio uh, out with the insert that I have made and um, so I kind of found a page in there and I just sort of had a play and, you know, tried that out and I was just, I was so excited about it. <laughs> So that's my five ways that I like to decorate the planner. I hope you guys enjoyed it and, you know, there was something useful in there or maybe to see something a bit differently. Um, I will see you guys in my next video. Bye. Thank you.